Yo, what is going on? This is your boy, That Guy Face with Face the Music Media. We are here for another episode of How I Synth. And in this episode, we will be featuring Synapse Audio, the legend synthesizer. Let's jump into it. Now, as usual, I'm not going to give a total breakdown of every feature of the synth. I'm just going to show you how I synth and how you can also get a nice sounding synth sound going with the Legend Synthesizer. So when you first open the synth up, the first thing you want to do is go to init patch to initialize all the values to the default values. First thing you want to do is take the polyphony mode from mono to poly. In this case, I'm going to do poly eight because I'm doing chord progressions with more than four notes. Next thing you want to do is bring the range down. I'm going to go down to 32 and see what that sounds like. So initially the second and third oscillator is turned on, but the volume is all the way down. So you want to go ahead and turn those up. So basically I'll take and do one oscillator and make it be ramp up and take the other oscillator and make it be ramp down. Now what we want to do is take and offset the tune and we can offset it a lot and then back it off. So let's take a listen as we back it off. You can hear that slight movement in the oscillators. And that is just something that I've grown to love. I love what it does when you fool around with the cutoff and the resonance. In certain synths, when you hit certain frequencies, it just does something really special. I find that the synthesizers that are closer to actual analog gear that sound closer, sound a lot better as far as a pulse with modulation trick. All right, so now what I wanna do is, uh, I boosted the cutoff a little bit in the resonance. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take the resonance up and then back it off slightly. And I'm gonna sweep through the cutoff frequencies just to kind of find some sweet spots. Let's take a listen. Nice. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fool around with the um, drive and the feedback just to taste. And then I'm going to add some built in effects that it has. The legend has some really nice effects built right in a reverb and a delay. So I'm going to mess around with those values and see what I can get. Now let's um, mess around with the effects. Basically to get your effects, you wanna turn on the effects here and then you click this arrow button here and it flips it around to the back panel. But let's go ahead and mess with the delay and the reverb. Wow. 
Nice. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to mess with the filter envelope of this in. So the filter envelope just determines the attack, decay, sustain and release of the filter. We can kind of get some interesting sounds when you fool around with that. So let's take a listen. First, we're going to turn it up all the way just so we can hear it. And then we'll go from there. Oh boy, that's a nice sounding pluck right there. And that's how you can get some of those really heavy, thick plucks that you would hear from like a dead mouse or a Zed when you fool around with the envelopes. And you can get real crazy with it. You can put some LFOs on there and have it bounce around and do all kind of crazy stuff. All right, so now I'm gonna fool around with some of the LFO so you can see kind of what the LFO functionality is like for the legend. So basically how you do that is you wanna to go to the back panel and turn on low sync. Now what that means is when you come down here and fool around with these values, it'll be for the LFO. When it's in low mode here, you can basically have it synced to the BPM. And in order to activate that, you wanna come up here to your controls, turn on the filter and then Take the mod wheel up. Nice. You can get some really crazy sounds out of this thing. So next thing I want to do is I love the tape plugin by Softube. It creates such a buttery, <laughs> I don't even know how to explain it, man. It's just such a buttery sound. It's perfect for lo-fi textures. So I'll just give you an example here. I'm going to pull the mild wood down to turn off the LFO. And let's just take a listen. So I'm gonna take the tape speed down to a slower speed because I'm going for that lo-fi. Now, I'm gonna take the speed stability up towards the wobble. Now, this is where it gets really interesting. So I'm gonna back it off a little bit. Now, once I take the dry wet and start to reduce that, we'll get a natural flange effect. Let's back off of the wobble a little bit.
Oh, man. I love it. So another thing I love to do is I'll take any kind of bit crusher. And for this example, I'll use Erosion by Ableton. So basically, this is how you can get some talky uh, sounds out of your synth. So let's just take a listen and see what we can get. And you kind of just want to sweep through the frequencies um, until you find one that kind of sings out. Man, oh man. Mm, mm -mm. And another thing I like to do, this plugin is amazing, is Oxide from Universal Audio. And basically, it just adds this bit of warmth and a little extra layer of thickness to the sound. Let's hear the before and after. And if you want, you can drive it. And that's just going to dirty it up a little bit. And just like that, we have gotten some really nice sounds out of this thing. This is your boy, that guy, Face with Face the Music Media. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If there's a synth that you want me to cover, please let me know down below in the comments. Like, comment, subscribe. Click that bell for notifications. And give this video a thumbs up, man, if you enjoyed. Stay tuned because I'm going to be going through a whole different collection of synths. And if you haven't checked out some of my previous videos, check those out. That guy face, face the music media. We'll see you guys on the next one.